Howdy, 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 my beautiful Virgo. How are you doing, darling? My name is Simply Velka, and today we're going to be doing your weekly tarot reading, Virgo, for July. All right, darling? And if you enjoy this weekly tarot reading, Virgo, I'll let you in on a secret. Top right-hand corner right here, darling, will be take you to your monthly tarot reading if you want to check that out, darling. All right? And let me know in the comments below how my tarot readings help you out, Virgo, because that's how I keep up with y'all through the comments, and I would appreciate it. As well, what I really would be grateful for, Virgo, if you enjoy my tarot readings and you want a completely free way to support me darling just give this video a like and subscribe all right darling it helps me out more than you ever possibly could know all right so virgo today we're going to be getting into three rows for you darling all right for your weekly reading remember when it comes to consuming tarot readings on youtube darling today that you consume more than just your sun sign just your one zodiac sign consume virgo your sun moon rising as well as your venus cater the energy to your chart all right so the three rows today anyways virgo that we're going to be tapping into are your first First row is going to be tapping into your career and financial situation. Your second row, Virgo, is going to be tapping into your social life. So this could be romantic relationship that we're tapping into, platonic, darling, family, someone in the workplace, you know, Virgo, just your general social life, darling. And then your third row, which is my personal favorite, Virgo, is your row of tarot predictions and the messages that you need to hear at this point in time. All right, darling. So to start out your weekly tarot reading today, Virgo, we are starting out strong, darling, with the full energy here. Okay. So the full energy is associated with, you'll notice, is associated with the number zero, a fresh new start for you. All right, Virgo, this is the path that you are coming to right now. If you're trying to understand where your path is taking you to, trying to bring clarity on like where you're, why certain events are happening, certain events are happening for you, Virgo, because your life, some facet in your life or just all encompassing is coming at it from a clean slate. All right. You're going to be noticing those things and those that are no longer serving you, Virgo, are going to be disappearing, are going to be cut off, Virgo. Any uh, past habits, addictions that you've been having, I feel like you're going to be addressing it this week here because this is like a new day for you. This is a new version of yourself, Virgo. I feel like the steps that you take today, this week, Virgo, set you up for the rest of your future. All right. You have a clean slate, uh, Virgo. What are you going to do with it? Remember, this energy is going to be influencing your entire uh, three rows here, Virgo. But let's get into your rows now in specific. You have the Queen of Swords, so the Justice energy with the Star card coming in for your career. All right, Virgo. So what I see happening in your career and financial situation is that there's like a little period of a pause. All right, Virgo, I feel like there's a calling for some of you guys to, you know, it's like you're having to be strict when you're with your finances. Some of you guys, Virgo, I get like this frustration from those around you because you're trying to save money especially if you live with them it's like this sense of where it's like you're trying to be responsible with money but then someone that you know is just constantly wanting to waste money on you know addictions right maybe it's like cigarettes or alcohol like whatever this is it's like you're trying to have a better control of your financial story and it's like that bothers some people uh virgo it bothers small-minded people it bothers people who just want you to be going out and you know you might be even noticing you i'm noticing as well back of the deck uh the two of cups after you pull the fool card so what i'm noticing here virgo is like you might uh have like certain relationships starting to wane a little bit uh, starting to notice like how your distance yourself from certain uh people just because you're getting a better balance on your uh, uh your career and your financial situation for some of you virgos you know you're finally uh, uh it's like you need to you need to have this time to yourself virgo is what i hear you need to be able to just be left to your own devices not having other people bother you with their drama not having people just make issues because sometimes that's what it is for you virgo you feel as if people just like create issues just to have problems with you here because i see it's like and you've had like enough's enough for you virgo i hear enough is enough for you you're at this point in time where you are ready to chase back after that stuff are. Notice how all three of these cars are associated with air energy as well. Some type of air sign seems to be really relevant for you, or if you have air in your chart, I would strongly suggest checking out um, your uh, career reading for your air sign. 
all right but what i see really happening for your career in financial situation virgo is just like you know whether it pisses people off whether it inconveniences people you are finally taking control of your life when it comes to your financial matters you're saving the money that you need to save you're doing the steps that you need to do to create to get yourself back to that dream life to do what it is that you're meant to do some of you uh virgos had suffered from like a creative block maybe depression or anxiety for some of you virgos which is completely okay darling we are human give yourself grace for having the human experience and so you kind of uh weren't able to progress for a while right don't be frustrated with that don't look back virgo on like what you wish you could have done up until this point for some of you virgos you're being a little bit too critical on yourself where it's just i hear like a message where it's just like oh i've gained weight so i shouldn't you know it's like you're beating yourself up for maybe gaining like 10 pounds or whatever much you could have gained 10,000 pounds it doesn't matter virgo all right you're getting back on track with what it is that you need to do all right don't frustrate yourself with the journey um that's going to be ahead for you because you will get to your destination okay <clears throat> now for your social reading now here virgo you have the queen of pentacles knight of wands with the knight of cups coming in here a couple different offers coming in for my singles uh virgo all right this is going to be a really solid week for you for my bachelors and bachelorettes honey well is, do you call a single woman a bachelorette i don't know um anyways i would be saying for you virgo there seems to be strong uh potential for you this week to start something new with a new connection a new relationship all right again platonic or romantic not my business library things about love remember all right but it does seem to be here virgo it's like a lot of people are are attracted not that voice cracked island it feels like a lot of pa uh, people are attracted to you here you're going to be getting a few offers from people to you know you might notice some people just trying to chat you up a little bit more virgo i get here because i get this is like literally the queen of pentacles is your energy virgo right it, earth energy is uh uh pentacles and so it's like you're just sitting here vibing honey and then it's just like sandwiched in between like you're just sandwiched in between two different nights all right you're literally sandwiched in between two different uh knights trying to get your attention here trying to win you over so that's really what this is virgo it seems as if people are going to be trying to win you over this week you might be noticing people are just like trying to open the door for you or just being nicer than usual all right um virgo what i also want to be pointing out is the queen of pentacles is in the heart of your energy here darling all right so truly at this time virgo for you this is a time of where you need to say you need to see life from a place of where you are a queen all right and you deserve to be treated as such and you deserve to be seen as such virgo all right this is really a week where it's just like you're gonna just be sitting on your throne darling and you're gonna just be noticing people coming to you tr people trying to uh uh i don't know why the word swoon keeps on coming uh, up in my head here but yeah you're just going to be noticing just people in general trying to connect here virgo with the intent with this full energy to start something all right to start something this is really just a lot of strong new energy that's something of course darling i mean the story continues writing itself there right now tapping into my your third row here virgo you have the seven of seven and six of cups here with the nine of wands <clears throat> seven and six of cups coming in here with the nine of wands some of you virgos are going to be having to deal with someone that you blocked in the past trying to come back in virgo that's what some of the, one of those nights are actually is like this sense for you virgo it's like you're living your life and then this like coming uh something from the past to trying to complicate things trying to bring for they might you might even have this week someone coming in from the past with some news that really uh alters things that could really change things up for you virgo all right so be expecting that it's like something comes forward to you right because six, six, six of cups on its own it can represent uh receiving something something being given or it can talk about you know something with that past right that's why you see in the artwork for this deck it's a little boy and their dog and it progresses rather to you know being a grown grown ass man with their dog honey right so that's in that dynamic there i guess like he hearing developments from something that you forgot about some of you virgos someone has been you have been living in someone's mind rent free 
I feel like they're going to be approaching you as well here. Like, that's the thing. I feel like you have just continuously been minding your own business here, Virgo. All your cards have this sense of minding your own business, being completely unbothered, right? All three of these cards that I identify you as is the epitome of being unbothered, right? Being to yourself here, Virgo. And what I see just happening is just like you don't need to do anything just allow things to come to you at this time i don't know this is i like this energy here it's a little bit bougie so let's start clarifying these rows now today virgo as a reminder we're going to be clarifying your career which was the queen of swords the star energy with the justice card coming in here and continuing on with that suit we're continuing continuously pulling more air cards coming in for you all right back of the deck energy knight of swords coming in here <laughs> you're getting every single knight the only knight that you haven't gotten is the knight of pentacles so far here uh virgo knight of swords here <sighs> what i get for you guys virgo is be prepared be prepared for a work opportunity to come in I feel like some of you uh, Virgos are going to have the opportunity of starting something new. It's like maybe like a new promotion I see for some of you guys here because of this Eight of Pentacles. All right, it's like could be like a promotion going up in the ranks. Some of you Virgos are might be feeling tempted to go back to school, trying to learn more about a, a, a craft or something. Maybe learning about how to starting, you know, get get the ball going with a situation. It's <laughs> some of you Virgos are sitting on like a business idea is what I want to say. And I feel like you guys are going to start doing more research on it. So for example, like maybe you want to learn more about like crystals or doing tarot, starting a tarot business or creating tarot. It's like you, you want to start doing something, right? Let's just keep the crystal business, right? You want to, to create, well, let's just use this one for better. You want to have a crystal business. And so I see some of you Virgo starting to do the research necessary of like what uh, you need to do to have that crystal business to offer different crystals to people to sell them. For some of you guys, it's like doing research on how to do crystals and all that, you know, just in that analogy, I just see this sense of further elevating yourself here. All right. Eight of wands with the seven of swords coming in here. I feel like the frustration that comes in is just like there's so much going on for you, Virgo. A lot of moving parts or just a lot of things for you to be managing. It's hard for you to make time to uh you start to learn more about that crystal business because you have five other things that you still have to take care of right so it's like trying to find the time for it but i feel like for those virgos that do make the time for it a lot of forward progression happens all right a lot of forward progression happens i just realized i call this tonight uh wait yeah no <laughs> i messed this up i thought i was called i thought i called the seven of swords the knight of swords and i was like nope nope that was the back of the deck so i was still right in that but yeah finding more time uh i really want to stress that out for you virgo is like it definitely is worth the effort of finding the time to do that now, clarifying your second row, as a reminder, Virgo, your second row was your social life, the Knight of Cups with the Wands as well, and Queen of Pentacles. Back of the deck energy is the Three of Cups coming in here. All right. Again, this sense for you, Virgo, it's like you're sandwiched in between two people. <clears throat> there's just definitely this sense of like third party energy relevant here not third party energy in a sense of like you know just like the cliche like drama but i get like this sense of like becoming friends with one person and then that one person introduces you to another person virgo i get like this sense for you virgo where it's like again you're like minding your own business here and then it's just like people that you've walked away from virgo four swords eight of cups like people that you've walked away from that you haven't thought about at all because you, you disconnected from them and you're just done with them they're coming back in with some with something some type of stuff virgo and they're, they're just in this place to be like i would like to connect more all right now 
why you left that situation, why you left for them from the get go. That's your personal business. All right. I'm just the messenger. Whether this is a good sign for some of you or a bad sign, darling, or just a neutral, that's up for you to decide. And I'm not telling you if it's good or bad here. Wheel of Fortune, I do see that things have changed. But again, like just I don't don't be surprised here, Virgo, of just a lot of people from your past acting up in a different way and just being like, oh hey, like Virgo. You know, just people that you just have not thought about or engaged with. All right. Now, getting into your third row here, clarifying those cards. Seven of Cups. Girl, <laughs> I just accidentally uh, spilled a bunch of my cards. Uh, so we have the Seven and Six of Cups coming in here for you, uh, Virgo, for your third row with that Nine of Wands that we're clarifying. Now that I got my cards semi back in order here let's get the clarification cards for them again virgo someone you are unforgettable someone keeps on thinking about you that keeps on being very present all right you have the empress energy here these nine of pentacles ten of swords stepping into your back of the deck the cherry energy again being approached here virgo all right this is not the week for you to be a hermit darling all right this is not the week for you to be a hermit your your phone is going to be blowing up people are going to be knocking on your door this week here virgo a little bit bleeding after uh, bleeding up a bit after too cards that we got here virgo i like this a lot for you guys all right this gives me like this sense for you virgo of even the stuff that's coming in here it's giving you closure it's giving you progression here all right keep doing what it is that you're doing i feel like the biggest focus of at this point in time for you darling virgo would be just to put uh, more focus in on your career and financial point of view i feel like when it comes to your social life you know that's gonna just like you don't really need to be doing any active steps with that let that come to you i feel like more so um that's gonna come to you and what you need to actively work on yourself is more so your career and financial stuff that's what will give you the most benefit all right that will give you the most bang for your buck for your energy more so in your career rather than your financial all right so that's the tarot reading that i have for you this week here virgo all right hopefully something in these cards resonated with you darling if it did let me know in the comments below give this video a like and subscribe darling all right remember it helps me out uh if you want to book a private reading with me virgo my website's linked down below darling simply Velka dot com next to my uh, social medias so if you'd like to connect with me on a more intimate level our uh tiktok and instagram both just being simply velka same as here darling be sure to check out your uh, monthly tarot reading on the top right hand corner darling virgo and i'll be connecting with you sometime in the near future bye virgo